All right, guys, let's do a video changing out the uh, light, fog light on the uh, 99 Maxima. So I thought it was just gonna be a bulb. And it turns out when you turn this out of the back, you end up with uh, all this craziness. So you gotta get an H3 bulb. Here it is. It cost me like 17 bucks. 18 really, 1801 with tax. So then what you do, this bulb, bulb craziness. So then this guy, as with a lot of them, that rests inside and is held in by a metal bracket, which you can see right here. So you put your bulb in, that slides in, locks in place around the metal housing. That holds this bulb in, and then you have to plug in this, this part of it into this red sucker. Plug that into there. And then this guy here plugs into the housing at the top right up there so that's what we gotta do so i'll show you this before i put it back together all right there's a brand new bulb in the fog light i don't have to show you it before because it just wasn't lit up so i thought i was going to just have a normal bulb in there but as you saw that wasn't just normal bulb Let's see i'll show you the broken bulb when i get to it so let's give you a look at what's behind here quick uh, she's all lit up for you now. So as I told you, there's a little metal clip that holds that bulb in. The bulb sits in there one way and one way only. Because there's like a... You can actually see it. Not, not, not if it's not going to show you. In the top, there's like a little rounded point, And on the bottom, there's a little like squared off point. And then that metal clip just pops in there over the bulb and latches in. You have to kind of just bend it under. And then, like I said, you plug this one in and the other one gets plugged into the housing and that completes your circuit. And then you gotta put all that stuff in there. I'm gonna have to make sure those aren't touching hot things, but I can put those in there and then this cap goes on top. When I got in here, this was not plugged in, so I thought that was my problem. For some reason, this was not plugged in. So I thought, oh, I'll just plug it in, it'll be good. Nope. I'll show you the uh, blown out bulb then, but for some reason, this wasn't plugged. Make sure that clicks in in place and locks when you're done. If you unplug this, by the way. Whoever was in here last didn't make sure that was clip clipped in fully. And then your bolts aren't rusted out. You put your lower panel back in place. So you get this situated and I'll show you uh, what that looks like closed up. All right, so. I just put those wires inside, turned it like a quarter turn to the clockwise, and she locked locked in. So now she's all good to go. If you have, like I said, here's my lower panel. Put this back in place, it's a little busted up. But you know, that happens. So now, we just put that up in here where it belongs. If this wasn't folded up, I'd have a screw there. And other than that, uh, this guy goes underneath there. That should really be locked in to the screw. But that's what I get. That's what I got. That should stay. All right, I'll show you the bulb yet. Here's a good shot of the steering wheel. All right, here's the bulb that came out. And you can see that it's just separated in there. She's upside down. 
there's a filament just laying in there. So this was shot for some reason. And I thought I could just replace this bulb, but apparently I probably could, but it's not meant to do that. You're just supposed to replace this guy. So uh, there you go. That's the bulb that went out. So now we can get our car inspected. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Go out and replace your bulb. Do it yourself.